Hello, I'm going to be doing a series of video diaries telling you about my karate training. Karate is very important to my life. This isn't going to be an instructional video and I'm no expert so before you all write on the comments below how rubbish I am and how crap I am, I never said I was amazing. This is purely about my training going up through the levels and different courses that I'm on, different events that I'm going to and how I'm getting up through the grades. I will be showing you some of my training. Um, I'm gonna, in a minute, I'm gonna be doing some basic Keon exercises with wrist weights and some ankle weights, which I've got down there, which you'll see in a minute. So I'll be doing the basic blocks and stuff like this, and the basic kicks, like that. I'll be doing some other basic things as well. There's just stuff I can do at home on my own. It's easier to do these at home. You don't need much space. You don't need anyone else around. So it's easy just to work on them. And I use the weights because it helps turn the muscles up when you take the weights off. The techniques are much more lighter, they're more fluid and much more effective. So anything I can do at home, I will do at home on my own. When you start out in karate or any martial art, simply turning up twice a week to a class is fine. As you get up through the grades you need to do homework. It's like schoolwork. You know, you need to study at home, you need to practice, otherwise you're not going to progress. Coming up we've got a video course this Saturday. Hopefully I'll be able to film some of it and show you. If not, then I'll tell you about it anyway. At the end of the month I've got a special weekend training course. So on Saturday, Sunday and Monday for some reason, they're usually Friday, Saturday, Sundays, but the days are a bit out, um, so I've had to get an extra day off work for that. Um, hopefully I'll be able to film that, but again, filming these courses while training is actually quite difficult, um, so basically what I usually do is just stick the camera in the corner of the room on a tripod or something and point it to where I think will be good and then just hope I get something out of it. So I don't know if I'll be able to get anything good. Next year, hopefully I'll be going on at Gashku. So hopefully I'll be able to film that and show that as well. I'd just like to make the point again, this is my own personal training karate diary. This isn't intended as an instructional video. If you want an instructional video, there are endless amounts of videos on YouTube. Anyway, so coming up now will be um, just a quick montage of um, exercises I like to do at home, wearing the wrist weights. I'm not going to include any kata in this video. There's previous videos of me doing kata. This next bit is just going to be a quick uh, showing of me doing some various exercises that I like to do at home. Okay, I'm now going to do some on, which translates to basics. I've got my wrist weights on. This is a one kilogram weight. This is a two kilogram weight, so it's three in total on both sides. Um, so I'm going to cut this quite a lot, but basically what I'm going to be doing is 100 agate ukes, 100 chidan ukes, 100 gidan ukes. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. When I do these exercises with the weights, shape isn't 100% perfect as it would be without the weights, but it says that exercising all the exact muscles and the muscle groups I need to do these blocks well. So when I take the weights off, the blocks are light, fast, and effective. <clears throat> I'm really starting to feel it now because it's been a while since I've actually done this. <sighs> Let me 
probably thinking, ah, oh, three kilograms isn't many. But if you're doing it repeatedly, over and over, trying to get the correct shape and the correct timing, do you start to feel it quite noticeably after a while? We're going to get out of the cage. So as I said before, these techniques aren't going to be perfect with the three kilos on each arm. <clears throat> it's working the muscles burning. I'm actually starting to get quite hot once I've done the blocks. Those three basic blocks. There are other blocks I can do with the weights that sort of okay like that. Um, okay. okay and some others, but uh, just for the purposes of this video and today's training, I'm just going to do those three keyons. Um, also, I like to do some strikes, 200 punches. Okay, once I've done that, what I like to do then, take the weights off my wrists, stick them on my ankles. If I was practicing my kata, I would have ankle weights on as well. But as I'm just doing the arms and legs separately, I just change these over.